proud of our guys. Awesome effort. We were scrapping today and get down 19 against a good team like this uh, and to come back and take the lead. Just really proud of our effort. We, we've got to find ways to, to execute late in the games and, and, uh, and pull these close ones out. We're not there yet. We're close, um, but the, there's no consolation. We've we got to find ways to, to take care of those games. But uh, unbelievable environment. Um, Ram Nation was absolutely awesome. Awesome, and uh, uh, they're they're probably maybe the, next to a couple great plays by our, our players to get get back in the game was probably because of that crowd and the energy uh, that our guys fed off of. It was it was unbelievable, and we really appreciate it. So uh, you know, I thought their athleticism and their length really hurt us. That I think they made plays that uh, covered ground and and did a good job defending at the rim, and we didn't get any easy ones. And I think that's how they got their lead and. I think when we just let it go, we we let our hair down. We got that uh, we got down, and and uh, we started making some plays. We're much more aggressive, and uh, that we got uh, Tyler May, Xavier Jackson, um, DJ, Chris Lane, and Marcus Santos, and Sean. Those guys did an unbelievable job when some of the older guys were out of of, of cutting into that lead. I was really really proud of them, and, and it's only going to make our program better. When you go into that timeout down 19, 17 points, what did you say to that team that you know kickstarted their effort and, and really got the ball moving? Well, it, it just like we're not going down this way. It, it's not VCU. It's not how we do things. Uh, you know, teams are going to play well against us. That, that's you know the other team wants to win too, but we're we're not going down this way. We're not. Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna fight back. We're gonna we're gonna have resistance. We're we're. Uh, we're not going on our heels and say, well, that's just how it is tonight. And I think you make your own fortune in the world. You make your, your own opportunities. You've got to go after it. And we sort of, we, we just let it go. And that's what happens when VCU lets it go. They, they, they play like that. We've got to do it more often. And uh, the effort was awesome. The scrap was awesome. Uh, but we've we got to get better closing out close games. Coach, uh, uh, elephant in the room, I guess, just uh, uh, you know, seeing Chuck again and, uh, and you know, what, the pregame and nice moment between you guys and then, you know, wow, what a basket. Yeah, yeah, and it was great to see him. I mean, he's a great friend, and I'm, I'm, I'm not here if it wasn't, you know, it's because of Coach Smart. That's why I'm sitting here. I know that. I really appreciate that. And coming to VCU and working for five years, not only did I have an unbelievable experience and the opportunity now to be the head coach here, I also got a great friend. And uh, we'll cheer for each other, and we got each other's back. And good days and bad days, it's always been like that. That's not going to change. And for 40 minutes, it's like you know, we're we're going to go at it, and that's exactly what what we did. Coach, you talked about um, letting your hair down. How well they play. How, how worried were you coming into it that um, guys are going to maybe try to do too much early? And do you think maybe you saw any of that with the start? Yeah, you know, we we had a couple good looks that just didn't go down. You know, we we didn't shoot the well, the ball well from three. I, I think their their athleticism and their length ran us off some threes too. I, I thought we, I thought we had some good looks early. We just didn't have much resistance on the defensive end, and uh, that that I thought that really hurt us. And and now, now we're fighting back. Um, I don't know if the guys were were overwhelmed of of the start or or of all the hoopla and all that stuff. I think you guys and more of the adults and the fans love that part. Um, I think our guys were locked in. We didn't have a great practice yesterday. And uh, I, that, that's something uh, you know I take upon myself and our, our leaders got to, we didn't have a great practice. And I thought if we have a great practice, maybe we're a little bit better today. And we got to learn from that. And, that. and that's sometimes the misfortune of not having a good practice. You, you, you're not ready to play. Coach, how's Isaac? Was this too quick? Just jammed, jammed his ankle again. And, you know, high ankle sprains are pretty painful. So uh, he just said, he said, Coach, I can't, I can't go. And, uh, you know, he, he had a good, he, he practiced probably half the practice yesterday and felt really good. I texted him this morning. He's like, Coach, I'm, I'm going to be ready to go. Uh, uh, two to three today, we had our shoot around and he was moving around. He looked really good. He felt really good about it. And just, uh, I think he just, when he came down on both feet, it looked almost like a jump stop. On defense, there he just said he felt something, so we'll 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 keep working with him. What experience do you want you guys to take away from this game? Well, we're close. Number one, I mean, no, well, first of all, that 
there should never be a day if you're a VCU basketball player that you don't appreciate this because this is unbelievable. I mean, come on. I mean, it's December 5th, and the place, it was unbelievable. It was like a playoff game. Uh, our fans were going crazy. I mean, they had our back. It was awesome. You don't experience this in 95%, 98% of other college basketball arenas. And we should be so darn proud of it, and, but always appreciate it. It's one of our core values is appreciation. That will never change. And I hope our guys wins and losses because when they leave, guys like Doug and guys like Darius Theus and, and Eric Maynard, all those, they talk about the experience that they've had playing games here. I, I want our guys to always know that that opportunity isn't, you know, isn't given. They're, they're, very, they're very fortunate, and I want them to appreciate it all the time. Ram Nation was, like always, they were unbelievable. Well, I, I, we, we spaced the floor a little bit better. I thought we just got a little more downhill. You know, I, I thought I thought Texas fatigued. I really, I really, I thought they fatigued a little bit in the first half, but I thought le that they they fatigued on the ball a little bit. We got more downhill. You know, when you have a, a Chris and a Justin when they're making shots and Sean. You can really spread the floor with that versatile big guy, and, and, and that we found Chris and, and he got it going. Um, we didn't dribble around the three; we were going downhill. You know, our motion game is based on guys stepping away from the basket, of of getting random ball screens, uh, and then really attacking. We want to play from the paint out. We just got more in the paint, collapsed the defense, and we found guys. There you go, Sean Chip the brand. Coach, you're in the back. Now that this game is over, moving forward, what can you take from tonight? and moving forward, going into uh, Seton Hall? Well, like, like I said the, uh, a couple other times, w we're getting better. We're close. But to take the next step and win these games, it, it, it's, it's, you, you got to take the step. you got to take the step as a team. you got to take the step as a program. And you, you're not guaranteed to win. We're pretty darn close, but we're not guaranteed to win. we got to get over that hump. And... You know, with experience going through this, I mean, how you learn the most sometimes is get knocked down, and then you got to get up, and you got to do it again. And uh, you know, we're getting knocked down, we're close. We got to take the next step, and that just the experience part. Look, this is Johnny. Johnny Williams is our senior point guard. He has the ball on his hip. This is his first time in four years that he's had this role. Uh, it, it just doesn't happen on game one. You know, it's game nine, and he's getting better and better at it. But he's got to continue to get better. Some of these young guys are stepping up. But they're still learning. Uh, we had two sort of late in the game defensive misassignments through experience. It's get better and better. Uh, higher attention to detail and practice that gets us better. And then we carry it to a game, and that's how we win this game. And uh, I love my guys. Like they're they're so into each other. They're so into figuring this out. They're they're not splintering. They're not pointing the finger. Now we got to take the next step. And uh, I, I could bang on the wall and, and go crazy and kick the ball all over the place. No, we got we to gotta continue to teach these guys to take the next step as a basketball team. Mike, uh, Andrew, both Andrew and Dylan Oskowski both had like five or six three-pointers yeah. in that left corner, including the big one at the end. That's a relatively new spot for them, I think. I mean, what, what, did, what did you think about that? Was it just not enough high-hand closeouts? Or yeah, well, you know, we got, we got sucked in a few times, and, and uh, we've, we've been better at it. Um, you know, we know Andrew can really score and can really shoot it, and, and we just we lost him. You know, we lost him twice where he just banged, banged both of those. And then you know, Dylan hasn't shot the ball well, but we know he was capable of. He made his first. We said, all right, we got to run him off the three. And and when sometimes you're guarding another big guy, uh, you think he's not a scorer, and we get sucked in as we call it. We call it a sucked in four or five man. You can't be a sucked in four or five man when a guy hits one or two, and that hurt us. He hit that one in the right corner. That was a that was a big three. We got to, are we, as I've said it before, our defense awareness has to keep increasing. It's, it's, it's gotten better tenfold since the first day of practice, since Liberty, since, since App State, um, and we're playing some really good teams like Texas, but we got to take the next step with it. We'll hear maybe one or two more. Hey, Coach, uh, you know, you're going to 27 7 run, a great job by your team overall, uh, but it seems like uh, Santos Silva just brings a special energy coming off that bench, and he had the crowd rocking and rolling. Um, is there anything you know that you see special coming from Santos? Well, his 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 energy, like you said, his energy, his 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 no quit approach. He's so darn confident about himself, and that's why he continues to play more and more. And 
He's just like any freshman, can continue to learn his role and his, his, his what continue to get better. Um, but his defense has improved so much since we started, and now he can get on the court even more. And then he goes after the basketball. Some guys have a gift to make threes. Some guys have a gift to go find that ball off the rim. He has a gift to go find that ball, and he's only getting better. The best thing about him is he really wants to be a good player, so he listens to the coaches. He doesn't, un like, he doesn't have all the answers. He listens, and I think every week he's getting better and better. And He made some moves today. He and Coach Scott, Brent Scott's our big man coach, they spent a lot of time one-on-one -on, -one on the side before and after practice. He made a couple moves today that they've been working on. It. Now it shows up in a game, so now you take the next step with them. So really proud of him. I thought all the freshmen gave us good minutes today. Uh, coming up a game like this, uh, you and Chuck get a chance to exchange a couple words on the court afterwards, and then so what, what was that? Yeah, just told told each other we love love each other, and and we got each other's back, and and uh, you know he 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 said you guys you got a really good team, and I said the same to you, and we'll talk we'll talk here in the next couple of days, and we'll get scouting reports from each other on on our team that to, to help us get better. Last one, coach. Um, obviously. Number one, stay tight. Okay, because when when you don't win some close games, that's when there's noise. We're not going for the noise. Stay tight. We got to get better. We got to continue to get better. Look how much we've improved since the start, but we're we're not where we need to be. And I think this team has a lot of potential. Potential is a scary word if you don't get to it. So we got to continue to get better. And, and uh, through more games, through more experience, we got to find a way to pull these games out. And uh, you know, close is not good enough. Uh, it never will be around here. And uh, I, but I, I, uh, the guys said some, made some comments to each other after the game, uh, and we'll be ready to practice tomorrow. And, and then we got to go on the road and get one. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.